Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Crestoria 2. So, last time around, we tweaked and optimized the power plant over here. And there was a good reason for us to make the power plant. Because today, we're going to take a look at modules. And as you all know, once you start using modules in your um, uh, factory, your power consumption is going through the roof. Uh, because these things over here increase energy consumption uh, by 50%, and these over here also by 50%, though these over here lower it by 40%. But we do need to make all the Tier 1 modules, because it took a bit of a peek at what we have to do in the future. And we do want to make, where is it? The rocket tech cards over here soon. And for the rocket tech cards, we need speed modules. And I was a bit curious, so I took a peek in the tech tree. And I noticed that we will need production modules, or productivity modules, for the production science. And we are going to need uh, efficiency modules for the utility science. So we do have to automate, fully automate, uh, the three base modules in a way. I also took a look a bit at what we need to make the higher tier modules. And I was kind of surprised. Um, like one speed module 2 requires 20 small electric motors in addition to everything else. In addition to two speed modules mark 1. The number 3 over here requires 40 immersite crystals as well as two speed modules mark 2. So that's another 40 motors. Um, the speed module mark 4 over here requires 120 iridium plates as well as two speed modules Mark III, so that is uh, 80 motors and 80 um, iridium crystals, I think. And the further down we go, the more ludicrous it gets. Uh, 140 heavy bearings over there for one single module. So the module price has been heavily increased in this... Oh, I found another material. <laughs> heavily increased and we can't really be swinging them around as much as we did in the previous playthrough which is very interesting and very scary to see so um that's the thing we have to wor wonder worry about in the future but for today we're not going to worry about that at all uh, instead we are going to focus on making some more electric components or electronic components over here we're going to do that over there i was kind of thinking of maybe just enhancing this or moving stuff around but this is more or less a closed unit and this over here uh, is not really producing that fast, and wherever it goes, it is required. So we're going to make another electronic components machine over there. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. And we're going to just pull the belts we need over here so that we have what we need over here. Each one of these... Let's have a look. Uh, where's the recipe over there? Each one of these makes one of these per second, or one of these per crafting time, which is 0 0.75, so it will be a little bit slower. Also, let's have a quick peek. Uh, it is, of course... Is it over here? That's over there. Um, we do get a better recipe at some point in time, uh, which is, of course, this one with lithium. It should actually not be too far away. The lithium recipe is behind Energy Science Pack number one. Never mind, it is very, very far away. Uh, but we could maybe, uh, before we get to this one, we will probably just have a rebuild already uh, and maybe even a beacon set up. We will think about that soon. Good. So, uh, one, two, three. Three is fine. Um, yeah, tree is fine because we're going to have some inputs at the top, we're going to have some inputs at the bottom, and then we're going to have some outputs in the middle, and this is how we're going to make this machine, so that we can push out as many of these as we want. Good! So, we said they make one per crafting tick, 0 0.75 is currently the crafting tick, so these two together make 1.5. Uh, that is good to know. Uh, let me also do this that, this, and that, this, that. Actually, these go the other way around. There we go. Uh, and then... Yeah, that will be fine. That will be fine. So, these two over here make 1.5 per second. This over here will be 3 per second. That will be 6 per second. Uh, that will be 9 per second. Ah. <laughs> well, we could go up the other way again. Um... Wait a minute, so 1.5, 3, 6, 7.5, we're going to give it a cut over here, and then we're just going to wrap it around. And by wrap it around, I mean we're just going to make a couple bits of this one, here we go, and we're going to do something like this, and this will be the machine that we're going to make good, uh, because we do kind of want to make, like, a full, solid belt of these coming out somewhere, and we're going to make that right over here, here's fine, here is absolutely fine. 
Another thing we can obviously also do is we can probably start making use of our bots a little bit more. Uh, I guess the current plan is to maybe get a base-wide network. Uh, but we should definitely use our bots a bit more. Uh, we need all of this to make something like that. I need some more steel. There's a steel bot over there. Zip. Consume. There we go. Start making some passive provider chests. And let's start hooking up our base to a bot network. Uh, we already have a little bit going around, but... Uh, let's just make this one an actual system. There's a random tree over there. There we go. Good. And now they start moving around. Perfect. Which also means they start picking up stuff. Excellent. Uh, for us to enable our bots, uh, the only thing we need to do is make more chests. One moment, please. <coughs> Whoa, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> For all people who were asleep watching this, good morning! <laughs> but let's boost our base over here uh, with things like these over there, those over there, this one, that one, as well as these. These over here shall all be bringing us our stuff. There we go. Now they're also in range. Um, we don't have active requests to chest yet, so things like ammo over here. Uh, we probably don't need to do, but things that are needed for constru construction, like uh, power poles and stuff like that, um, the um, cliff explosives over here, those we can definitely give them a bit of an upgrade. And we should, of course, get everything that is built in here as well. Um, so let's maybe place one of these over here. Uh, and then these ones, those ones, these ones, there we go. So that we don't need to worry about this as much anymore. Perfect. The bots are starting to fly. The bots are starting to work. We might need to increase the amount of bots we have in the network. We should do that. Uh, there is an upper limit to how many bots we have kind of in the network uh, before the, everything starts to go uh, explodey. Is that somewhere described in here? Signal transmission, jetpack, space exploration. Mm, not really. Or did they take it out? Maybe they took it out. Because there used to be... A research for bots. Uh, that's cargo size. Maybe we find it in here somewhere. Maybe if we just go all the way back to bot. Oop, if maybe we go all the way back to bots, uh, which are somewhere over here. Uh, that's a cargo size. That's a robot battery capacity. That's a worker speed. That's the logistic bots. Um, there it is. The swarm safety. Logistic bots won't damage the things when they crash if they are in a logistic network with up to 500 active logistic bots per research level. Okay, I think that is maybe something completely different. So, I think it will be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Uh, perfect. So, now we at least have some construction automation going on. But the, fun, the one thing we want to do is we want to go up from like 100 bots in construction to say... Yeah, let's go up to 500. Here we go. Start dropping those boys in. And logistic bots we keep at a low level for now. Um, we don't really need as many logistic bots yet. Good. We still have to play some pieces by hand, especially in terms of assembly machines. We can just drop them in the chest and let the bots do the assembly for us. But you can already see over here that the assembly with bots is just so much more relaxed. We don't have to figure uh, think about anything. We can just, like, paint it in ghost mode. Um, and just let it go. A thing I would love to have in Vanilla Factorio is the thing that we have in, um, in Captain of Industry, where it would be possible to maybe just pause the construction, because sometimes you just want to edit something uh, and not really add anything to it, or not really want to start building on it, because you might still want to move stuff around. And with, like, a pause function or something like that, it would be so amazing uh, to have something like that, but... Well, then again, at some point in time, your bots are so fast at picking up stuff that you don't really need that pause function anymore because if you misbuild something or you have an off-by-one error like that, you just go like, out, in, done. <laughs> Good. Make these corners, please. Here we go. And we can copy-paste this corner over there. Done. And then we need the same thing on the top. This might be a little bit excessive in undergrounds. I know, I know, I know. But at the end of the day... Uh, everything is cheaper than a production module Mark III, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Good.
Good, 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 good. So, uh, we need plastic. Uh, plastic is coming from over there. Plastic is done. Uh, then, we need silicon and glass. Those are both over there. Uh, you over there, and you over there. And we need to get these over to the other side. Uh, for this, I will use a red underground, because they got the range. And then we don't need to build on the street. Uh, and then we need something like this. Maybe, maybe start this one earlier. There we go. Because then we can go over like this. And then we need you. And you. And then we only need to make it over here somehow. Uh, and just ghost painting. So relaxing. Okay, that, that's no win here. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Uh, that should already be... Every oh, we, made, we might need the assembly machines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Would be a good thing to have some assembly machines in here that actually make the thing you want to make. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. We also need some more assembly machines. Let's put all of these in. There we go. Can I make some more in my pocket? No, I cannot. Lamps are also missing, so let's also make do of the lamps. Either way, we should already see the first things come out over there, and that will be combined up to a single yellow belt, which is the thing that we need. Later on, uh, we can still upgrade the machines to more advanced crafting machines, and then just also upgrade the belt. That will be fine as well. Uh, the lamp machine is over there. It's already in range. Perfect. That's in. And what do we need for more of these? More small electric motors. We have those in our secret pocket, and we need more iron gear wheels. We have those in our secret pocket, and the thing we're missing is actually brick. Uh, and we have those over there. And not in our secret pocket. Make 12 of these. Uh, and then the thing we're missing over here is steel plates. You know what? That's over here. Uh, maybe also get some more of these. That might not be too bad. And maybe some more electric motors real quick. We should probably also make an automation for the assembling machines at some point in time. <laughs> but this is fine. This is fine. Now we have at least some of them. Uh, there's nothing in the air, so we don't pick that up. Good. But that will be more electronic components coming out. Uh, and then we need to put them into... We start with the speed module machine one. Um, they do need 12 electronic circuits per machine, but the crafting time is 15 seconds, so it's actually not that many. If we put down four of these, we will need just about... Uh, I think, what is it? Uh, we're going to need 48 every 15. That is three green circuits per second. For now, we're going to try to feed off the green circuit belt over here. If we do notice that we need more, then we just make another green circuit machine. There we go. There we go. Good. Uh, the two of these, they come together. There we go. And off you go. Good. So, uh, next step. We want to make some of the tier one modules now i've already kind of decided for myself and this again is an arbitrary number there's no particular reason for me to do this except that i just wanted to make four of these and we're going to do the same for um the reds and for the greens but let's have a look at this what we need to do every one of these has a special component this one has solid fuel um the greens have copper cable extra on top and the productivity modules have glass extra on top we have glass down there um, so what we could do, hmm, hmm, I mean, all, all of them have green circuits and electric components as a common component. I know exactly what we're going to do. Do it like this. And then we're going to copy you over once and twice. One will be for greens, one will be for reds. Um, there will be one belt going up like this. Uh, for electronic components, or maybe the green circuits. There will be one belt going over here for the green circuits. Uh, we're going to decide which one will be on which side, depending on how much we're going to need. Uh, there we go. Uh, and then we got the middle belt, or we have space in the middle belt, or maybe even for in this part over here for the other side products. There we go. You get these. And then we also have to make the greens. There we go. And then we make all of them. Perfect. Uh, let's have a look. So, you need 12 and 8. 12 greens, 8 electrical components. Well, it's the same machine. <laughs> 15 greens and 10 components. 
and 10 greens and five components. Components is always the one that is the slowest. So components will be on the outside, whereas green circuits will be on uh, the inside. There we go. So we can do all of this and all of that. Oops, there we go. And we are done. And then also the green circuits over here. There we go. Let's hook that straight up. Almost. Done. And then we need to get the green circuits out from all the way over there. Um, and that is definitely doable. Eh. Move you down by one. There we go. You over there. And then... Yes, that is definitely doable. Um... You go up. Now we need to place this one by hand because if we just drag over the loader, the loader will be gone, which is going to be super duper annoying. And then off we go. You over there, you over there, you over there. Done. That is at least all the green stuff done. Um, there we go. Mm, power pole wires. I think this is fine. Actually, the more I think about it, can we pull this off? No, we cannot. But what we can do is pull this off. No, we cannot. <laughs> um, oh, that's going to be all over the place. That's not good. Um, hmm. That kind of works. Let's do it like this. That'll be fine. Good, 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 good. Uh, we do need some kind of middle connection and we do need some kind of side connection over here to at least get the power in there uh and then at least this over here can start that's where all the green circuits are flowing right now and then we need to think about solid fuel over here uh glass over there and uh copper cable over there let's start over here with solid fuel we do need 40 solid fuel every 14 uh, every 15 seconds that is about um three a little bit over three per second um if we take a look at solid fuel makings the best way to make solid fuel, the cheapest way to make solid fuel, is make it out of light oil. Uh, we would make two um, solid fuel over here per second. We could also maybe go for petroleum gas. Petroleum gas is more expensive to do so. But what does our... Um, hmm. I mean, we crack everything down either way to petroleum gas. So we could just go for the petroleum gas, but maybe we just go for the light oil uh, and we just make some solid food over here. We do that in a fuel refinery, don't we? And I only have one of those. Uh, I've got two of those, uh, but we do need some more fuel refineries then. Iron gear wheels, electric circuits. Um, the main thing we're missing over here is just iron plates. And I think I can just pocket craft the ones we need in my pocket. Perfect. Then we don't need to go anywhere. Uh, good. Solid fuel. Out of fuel. You make two per second. We need at least two of these. We're going to make two of these. And for now, we're just going to tap into the solid fuel production over here. Or into the rocket fuel production over here. I think it will be fine. I don't think we need uh, to be wary over here. We do kind of want to move you up by two. Oh, it still connects. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Solid fuel and solid fuel. The reason why we want to do it like this is so that we can put an output over here. I'm actually going to build this with the stuff I have in my pocket because I've got so much stuff in my pocket. There we go. Oh, I forgot how loud these machines are. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then we just go up. And we go over. If I can get it straight, and I'm very terrible at getting things straight. Uh, and then, oh, I guess we go to the middle. And then in, 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 out, 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 out. And then you go over there. Uh, put that thing in one of these. Put it in a steel box. Uh, for now, let's limit them to maybe two stacks. We might raise that limit later on, but this will be enough to at least automate the first level of modules over here. You over there, you need glass. Guess what? We got a glass bottle over here. Just pull it along, move it in, and we are done. 
And then same for here. Output, 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 output. And then move it over there. And put it in the box. Limit that to two stacks. And we good over there. Good. And the final one over there needs copper cable. We've got copper plate over there. Uh, how much copper cable do we need? We need one per second, four per second in total. The copper cable making machine, I think, makes four per second. It does make four per second. So we're just going to place the machine over here. You, copper cable. Look at this. Yeah, wait, if we can reach. You can move from over there. You can move from over there. And done. <laughs> I think for this one, we actually do need to stack and sort of for once. Um, and technically, if we want to fully fill the belt up, a loader, even though... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Power this thing up. And then... Output, 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 output. One too many. Here we go. Put it in the chest. And voila. We got the base level of modules automated. Now, at least these base, module, base level of modules already give us at least a little bit of a speed boost. And a little bit of production activity boost. Um, if we ever going to make the tier 2 ones, I'm not quite sure. Um, but at least now we have something. And the final step of the whole puzzle is get the furnaces, get the blank tech cards, get the speed modules, get the satellite telemetry, put it in the machine, give it a crunch. And we have rocket tech cards on the go. The furnaces are over here. The telemetry data is over there. The production modules are over there. Uh, the only thing we need to make is the basic tech cards. We want to put down eight of these machines, 10 of these machines, because then we make at least it at a rate of one per second, which is equivalent to the rate of every other science pick that, uh, science pick, science pack that we make. So we want to put down 10 of these. Um, we want to put down 10 of these. That's about it. Good. So let's see how we can set this thing up. There we go. You over here. Rocket tech cards. Uh, we got four inputs. We also need the blank tech cards inputs. Uh, if we put down 10 of these, we do need blank tech cards at a rate of one per second. Blank tech cards are made over here out of copper cable and iron plate, and we make them at a rate at ludicrously more. Um, we can set up a machine. Oh, let's let's try this. We can set up a machine. Uh, let's have a look. How do we do this? Yeah, this, this, this could work. We can set up a machine that looks like this. Uh, blank tech cards. Let's just copy these over real quick so we can ghost it. You over there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that could work. Uh, and then we hook it up like this. So we have a little, little fun little star over there. And then we have just a belt that goes around with speeds, satellite telemetry data, and electric furnaces. Uh, if we use some red belts, we could do something like this. Oh, uh, is this in range? Oh, I thought it was not in range. Sorry, we go over here then. I don't want to build it yet. <laughs> Let's see. And then we go like this. Uh, can we can we move this out a little bit further? No, it's at max range. Aww. Um... You can already see what I want to do over here. Oh, and we don't have any kind of storage over here. So let me just pick these boys up real quick. Here we go. Mm. Option two is we put the belt on the outside. We can definitely put the belt on the outside. But like, I'm, I'm kind of now... Oh, you know what we could do? Just move it up by one. We actually do have one belt on the outside. And then we just have this going this way. This going that way. Uh, yes. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this, by the way, at the end. <laughs> this is just going to crash and burn. Uh, hard. Uh, maybe, maybe at the end. I ah, know I would do it at the end. We, we will have a little bit of a swoop over here. We can also just do some long-hand inserters over here. It'll be fine. Good. So then we have something like this. Something like that. Also, I'm not quite sure why I'm building this in red belt. Um, this is yellow belt territory, except for the undergrounds. The undergrounds do need to be red. There we go. Good. Um, sure. That works. And then in, in. 
in 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 uh in in uh over here is an in there's an in these go in over there that goes in over there that goes in over there uh and then here over there you need two extra ins but we have these two belts over here and we just do something like this and that uh sure that works as for the output oh god uh that, that will be even worse won't it we could do something stupid like this. Okay, now everything can at least reach the middle. Now we have an output. And technically, we can tap this wherever we want, and off goes the science. I love it. <laughs> We're going to build exactly that. Um, there we go, there we go. So maybe, maybe we can also put some... Oh, it's, it's getting even more sexy by the minute. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, some lamps in the corners. Yeah, uh, there, there's, no, there's no argument over here. This is the best way to build. If you build it any way different, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, this looks amazing. We can place it over here, by the way. Um, sure. Here, place that over there. Bots, bring me the stuff, please. Um, there we go. And out of the buffer into, oh, we should have probably rotated it a little bit, but no, there we go. That's one of the inputs. Oh, we should have definitely rotated it because uh, one of the inputs is going to go from all the way over here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. Here we go this way. We go that way. Belt will be full of stuff. I don't care. Um, and then, yeah, let's make these in a pocket real quick. What else do we need to make more of these? Iron gear wheels, so, zzzz. There we go. Start making that in my pocket. Uh, we do need all of this over here. Um, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate how we have done this. I would prefer if we could make this a full belt. Um, so we're going to do something fun like this. And down we go. Here comes the telemetry data. Here we go. Go around. Go in. Go over. Done. Here we go. And then you get the machine. You get the machine. You get the machine. You get the machine. Oh, I forgot about the input. Oh, shit. <laughs> Actually, no problem. No problem. Copper cable like this. Iron plate like this. Speaking of copper cable, we have already a copper cable machine over here. We can just make another copper cable machine over here. Um, we're just going to place it over there. It doesn't really matter where it is. Here we go. You go this way. In you go. Uh, full send output over there. And then... Oh. Off you go. One over, give it some power and give it some lamps. There we go. You make copper cable. And then the only question is iron plates. Iron plates over there. Um, we only need to bring it over here. Let's build it in reverse for now. Ah, technically, we can get out of this again. Um, but I kind of... I, I find it so aesthetically pleasing that I'm just going to put a splitter over here because I like how this looks. I just like how this looks. This is lovely. This is really, really lovely. Um, there we go. You get this one, you get that one, you get this one. And let's wait for everything to come in. What are we missing? We're missing the speed modules, it seems. Oh, this thing over here just needs to make a couple more of these. I mean, we're making them at the rate of two and a half per second, and we need uh, it at the rate of one per second. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. So we do need to buffer this up a little bit. But at some point in time, one of these should be making some, some space science. There we go. And it works. <laughs> and we're just about to go over the 30-minute mark. 
Dang. I try to keep these episodes below 30 minutes because um, episodes that are shorter than 30 minutes uh, are get, um, get, get more frequently picked up by the YouTube algorithm. And if you go over 30 minutes, there's like a significant drop off. But then again, we have achieved an amazing build. I mean, look at this. How can this not be an amazing build? <laughs> and it is slow as heck. But this over here is making rocket tech cards at a rate of one per second, as with all our other sciences. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to pull it all the way over to where our science center is. So next time around, we can decide on what we want to research first on rocket tech science. Thank you so much for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this YouTube channel into something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where I have even more content. Um, we are currently doing some Captain of Industry over the air, some GTFO, and some RimWorld. All three bloody amazing games. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening. And until next time, see you around!